want to make you feel old, guys, but March 2024, this is Monster Hunter 20th anniversary. Yes, already. I'm feeling it as well. Because when it came out 20 years ago, I was like, wow, it looks so cool. And now 20 years later, already. They are having a lot of very fun stuff I wanted to share because I haven't heard it much from Capcom. Usually there should be some sales everywhere, but I didn't hear much. So I, I really want to share it with you. They have a dedicated website that you can go. So Monster Hunter, the team has done, actually, it's already on a special program on their website or on, a, you can see it on YouTube. It's a two and a half hours show which talk about the past 20 years with special guests, with the developer team, with some streamers. It's a, it's a really cool show. I only watch a little bit. I'm definitely going to watch everything. And along with this, they, they released a few events. So I only listed a few. First of all, if you're playing Street Fighter VI, they are releasing a character from Monster Hunter, which is a design a bit if you played the Monster Hunter world a few years ago. It's really based on this design at least from the uh, trailer I saw, with this big, uh, the big uh, two-handed sword, the big great sword. So you have this collab event. You also have a big event with the gear manufacturer MSI. They are doing limited edition gear for nearly everything they do. Next box pad. They are doing a PC case, which looks really cool. Motherboard. I don't really see yet as the uh, point of having a motherboard uh, dedicated Monster Hunter because you don't really see it on your case. Anyway, if you're all 12, don't worry about why not, et cetera, et cetera, they are doing a lot of things, so you can take a look. They are also doing some things that I really want because as you can see, this flag is especially not to show you that my chair is completely destroyed behind. They are having their own Secret Lab Titan Evo chair, the super cool looking chair that uh, every streamer have. And they have a Monster Hunter chair, limited edition. You, can, you have all the link on their website. And just to remind you, the previous Monster Hunter were World, what, four or five years ago? And then you had a Rise that I didn't play, but apparently was very good. It's already day back 2021, 22 maybe. So it started to get old. And on their website, you will also have the trailer for the upcoming Monster Hunter, Wild, Wild coming up. Hopefully, if there's no delay, in 2025. So I'm very excited about it because I really love Monster Hunter and if you can play with Fred, it's even better. Even though Solo is good as well, but you can be with some random guy who doesn't really know how to play. It's always the same problem. So if you have a, a team like in Helldivers, you will really enjoy Monster Hunter. So right, that's the best I uh, wish for you and for them to have a good game. And uh, yes, yeah, so... Go and check out this website. Go check out the trailer for Wild. Lots of good things from the Capcom team. Adam, you ever played the Monster Hunter series? Yeah. I played the very first one on PS2. Yeah. So I, I played the first one. I never played any of the later ones, mostly because they switched to the PSP for a really long time mm -hmm. and the DS. So a lot of them were on the portable systems. I was never really big on portables. I have Monster Hunter World. It was one of the free games for PlayStation Plus one time, so I grabbed it. But I played the original one solo, and it was fun. But the reason I got the original one solo was because I was playing Fantasy Star Online with my friends, and the original one was probably the closest game you could play to Fantasy Star Online on the PlayStation 2, because Fantasy Star Online was on Dreamcast and the GameCube. So I wanted a similar game. I played it solo. It was fun, but it wasn't as fun as Fantasy Star Online was with friends. And so I've always wanted to go back and play it, but I just never have anybody to play it with. I'm always I would be solo. And if I'm going to be playing a game solo, I'm like Monster Hunter or Final Fantasy or Monster Hunter, which is a game that's designed for these online elements. Or I can go for something a little more story heavy, like Final Fantasy Dragon's Dogma. And I'm going to go with the, the game that's designed for a single player experience. If anybody out there wants to play with me, look me up.